The Green New Deal has been coming up in the news a lot lately, with a lot of conflicting narratives and misinformation. The Green New Deal says you don't have to go to work. It's just a socialist wish list. There is no mention of the elimination of farting cows. Pay for the Green New Deal by just printing money. There's another victim of the Green New Deal, it's ice cream. The Green New Deal. Green New Deal. The Green New Deal. This Green New Deal passes, the American dream dies. So let's clarify, what is the Green New Deal? Inspired by FDR's New Deal, the Green New Deal is an idea. An idea to overhaul the entire U.S. economy by investing in clean energy jobs and infrastructure. The goal? Rapidly decarbonize the U.S. and level the playing field for everyone. When we talk about a Green New Deal, we are talking about jobs and justice. Proponents of the Green New Deal believe that the environment and the economy are inextricably linked and both are in crisis. On February 7th, Senator Markey and Representative Ocasio-Cortez introduced the Green New Deal resolution with the following goals. One, decarbonization. That means eliminating greenhouse gases in everything from transportation to food production. This process could involve everything from shifting to solar power and wind to considering options like nuclear and carbon capture. Two, a jobs guarantee. The Green New Deal aims to provide well-paying jobs for anyone who needs them. Jobs would be created through massive undertakings, like overhauling the electrical grid and making buildings more energy efficient. Three, protections for frontline communities. That means people directly impacted by climate change. It also means securing stability for people like coal miners whose jobs would be impacted by decarbonization. The proposal is massive and still pretty vague. It includes everything from universal access to clean water to even free higher education. We're here to say that small, incremental policy solutions are not enough. While many Democrats have thrown their support behind the Green New Deal, it still has a ways to go before it becomes reality. But supporters are optimistic. Congress is a stimulus response institution. There's nothing more stimulating than tens of millions of people who are saying, we want something done now. And they don't mean 2021, they mean right now. Climate change hasn't been on the agenda since it was dead on arrival on the Senate floor a decade ago. So, what changed? The difference between 2009 and 10 and today is the movement that has now been built, okay? We did not have that movement in 2009 and 10. This is now a voting issue across the country. For one, the IPCC published a terrifying report giving the world 12 years before we cross a dangerous and irreversible global warming threshold. The UN body implored lawmakers to take immediate action on climate change. While the White House isn't taking climate change seriously, the American public increasingly is, and activists are seizing on the momentum especially young people. The Sunrise Movement, a youth-led climate action group, have taken up the mantle and are galvanizing the public. I just want to let you all know how proud I am for putting yourselves and your bodies and, and everything on the line to make sure that we save our planet, our generation, and our future. They organized the sit-in at Nancy Pelosi's office that went viral. The attention catapulted climate change onto the national stage. The green generation has risen up, and they are saying that they want this issue solved. Which means it's now a litmus test for 2020 candidates. And doing nothing is not a option right now uh, because our planet really is in peril. Why not have an aspirational goal? Let's create a green economy in the next decade. Now, the pressure is on politicians to take action. We now have the troops, we now have the money, we're ready to fight.